Hey guys, I'm Abby Lyons and I'm going to show you how to play Red by Taylor Swift on my little red ukulele. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing a whole week of tutorials actually for the Red re-release. So if you want to see those tutorials, be sure to subscribe. They're going to come every day for a full week. <laughs> also, if you want to use the lead sheet and the play along video to practice this song, come join us over on Patreon. So now let's get started with the tutorial. We have four chords, four basic chords. They're all down here. If you already know them, then feel free to skip ahead. So our first chord is F. You're going to put your first finger on the first fret of the second string and your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And here is F. Then our next chord is A minor. You're just gonna lift off the first finger and then here's A minor. Then the next chord is G. You're going to put your first finger on the second fret of the third string, second finger on the second fret of the first string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. And here's G. And then our last chord is C. So you're just going to put your third finger on the third fret of the first string. And here's C. So those are all the chords. Also, if you want to play this in the original key, you'll use these chords, but you'll put your capo on the fourth fret. So first we're gonna learn the verse. The first half of our chord progression is below. We have slashes next to the chords. That means that we're gonna just strum one time on each chord. So this first part is F, then A minor, and then G. And then this happens again. So F, A minor, and G. And then the second half of the chord progression is F, A minor, and then two G chords. And then here, we're going to introduce our strumming pattern. We're going to be doing down, down, up, up, down, up. And that'll happen one time on each chord. So here's this next part of the chord progression. We have F, then A minor, and then G, and G again. And then this chord progression happens a second time, but then on the second time, that second G chord, we're going to have another slash, and that means that we'll strum once. Here's that progression the second time. We have the F, then A minor, then G, and then just one strum. So that's the whole verse. Here it is now with the words. Loving him is like driving a new Maserati down a dead end street. One, two, three, four. Faster than the wind, passionate as sin, and it's so suddenly. Loving him is like trying to change your mind Once you're already flying through the free fall Like the colors in autumn so bright Just before they lose it all So that's how you play the verse <laughs> now we're gonna go on to the chorus. So the first line of the chorus, we have F, C, and then two times on G. And then this time in the chorus, we're gonna be using that island strum throughout. So that's the down, down, up, up, down, up. So here's that progression with the strum. We have F, C, two G chords. And then we are going to return to that progression that we had in the verse. We had F, A minor, and then two times on G. And that will also have the island strum and it gets played three times in a row for the rest of the chorus. So that's the whole chorus progression. Here's the whole thing with the words. Losing him was blue like I'd never known. Missing him was dark gray all alone Forgetting him was like trying to know somebody you never met But loving him was red, eh, 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 red, eh, eh, eh. red, eh, eh, eh. red eh, eh, eh. Loving him was red So 
that's how you play the chorus. <laughs> so now we're going to be learning the bridge, which is a really fun part, I think. So let's look at the chord progression first. We have F, then G, then A minor, and then in the brackets we have G and C. So you might be wondering what the brackets are. Let me explain the strumming pattern. That will explain the brackets. So for the strum, we're going to be doing down, 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 down. And that's going to happen one time on each chord, except for the chords in the brackets, we will split up the strum between those two chords. So on regular chords, four down strums on the chords in the brackets, two down strums on each chord. So with that strumming pattern too, though, we are going to be muting in between each down strum, you're going to mute the strings, and this is maybe a little trickier than it seems. So don't get discouraged if it's hard, but let me show you what it sounds like. So we have, with that chord progression, F, then G, then A minor, then G, and C. Then in that next line, we're going to continue using the strumming pattern, except we have a slash at the end, which means one strum on that chord. So we have our F, then C, then G, and then one strum on that last G. Then we will return to the island strum, and we have our F, a minor double G progression, which we've seen in the verse and the chorus already, but that is when we will go back to our regular strumming pattern. So now here's the whole bridge all the way through with the words so you can hear it. Remembering him comes in flashbacks and echoes. I tell myself it's time now. Gotta let go, but moving on from him is impossible when I still see it all in my in burning red Loving him was a red So that is how you play all the sections from Red. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please give it a like. Please subscribe for more Taylor Swift tutorials. They are coming ASAP. And also, if you want the lead sheet and the full play along video, come join us over on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was really fun and I hope you liked it too. I'll see you again really soon. Bye.